Nestled on the dazzling shores of the Florida Panhandle is Destin, a coastal city renowned for its pristine white sand beaches and crystal clear turquoise waters. Its coastline is so picturesque that it's earned the nickname the Emerald Coast, bringing millions of visitors from all over the world every single year. And not only are the waters beautiful, it's abundant with fish, granting Destin the noteworthy title of the world's luckiest fishing village. We've decided to make a trip down to Destin this summer, not really to fish, but to soak up the beauty of the Gulf of Mexico. And this trip is extra special because we're celebrating Chad's 25th birthday. So we're gonna get some quality beach time and soak up the rays. our base camp for the day. We have our little orange cave set up and we're looking out at the water and it's a pretty calm day actually. Yeah. The water looks super clear and it is blazing hot. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell but we're dripping sweat like there's no tomorrow. We already slathered sunscreen everywhere yes. on our body. We're definitely trying to protect ourselves hence the tent and the sunscreen right. and the sun hats. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> yeah, but we actually came to the panhandle of Florida quite often as kids, I'd yeah. say. I feel like any child in the South always came here for summer vacations and it's really cool coming back here as adults and it is just as beautiful as we remember it and that's why we're really craving to come back down yeah. here. The water is really nice and the sand is like even more fine and white than I remember. Yeah, it is beautiful. the water. It's crazy to see the setup that people bring. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep, more people have come out. Honestly, after being like in our little tent for a bit, the water's like cold because we've gotten so warm, but I've also gotten used to it. Yeah. Ah. Feels good. So while we wave jump a little bit, I wanted to reminisce because this is one of our first like USA trips. In a while. Yeah, in a long time. I mean, we went to Asheville, but yeah. otherwise, like, this is like a little vacation in the U.S. And this is one of the most iconic places to come <laughs> yeah. to for summer vacation in the I U.S. I feel like <laughs> I am on summer vacation. Right. This is awesome. Like, school is out. <laughs> time to kick back and relax. Yeah. Get a sunburn or two. <laughs> I can't get over the water, though. It feels so good. <laughs> jumping a wave and he got slammed by the wave and then another one came and smashed his face full of water. <laughs> well, my hat's all wet but it kind of feels nice. <laughs> So 
anytime we're at the beach, we try to limit our time on the shores to the mornings and the late evenings just so that we kind of cut the amount of time that we're spending under the striking sun to a limit. And we've decided to go and grab some pizza just for a little afternoon snack. We do have an early dinner reservation, so we don't want something too heavy. And I believe we found a really nice local spot. And I will say we woke up a little bit late this morning, but we got to the beach around 9 o'clock a.m. And it was already so, so hot. So I think tomorrow we might try to wake up a little bit earlier, maybe to go and see sunrise, just so that we um, don't overheat so quickly. Baked tilapia, <laughs> that will be us. Yes. Baked fish. Mm -hmm. We were baked real good. Pizza, pizza, pizza. It is so bright. <laughs> pizza. Pizza time. to get their beach comer pizza which is kind of like a Hawaiian pizza with a twist of spice so we've got pineapple pepperoni jalapeno peppers cheese all the good stuff and we are like totally pineapple on pizza people oh, and I, I know it. it's controversial but oh it's so good yeah and you can't you can't argue against this one. <laughs> <laughs> cheers <laughs> come out to Bitterroot to celebrate Chad's 25th birthday and everything smells absolutely amazing. We went with the two dishes that are gulf to table. So we have their swordfish, which looks like there's some pasta on the bottom, and then also their shrimp tom yum that comes with some gnocchi. And of course, we also got some cocktails. They were already tasty, tasty. So I think we're gonna have a fantastic dinner and let's dig on it. Recently, Claire has taken up on the driving and yeah. she just parallel parked. Like a pro. <laughs> yeah, 10 out of 10, A plus. <laughs> I did get a little bit of help from Chad, but I am proud of myself. <laughs> That is incredible. There's Claire way out there. <laughs> it always gets so much better once you get past the, the crashing waves. It's way calmer out here. Yeah, we forgot 
think coming in the mornings and the evening is the right move because there's like no one here no one's really in the waters right now they're all on shore taking pictures and this feels like you have a little piece of the ocean all to yourself I hope you always be around even if I you are like a summer breeze that I must in for us to feel this way forever Loving you has never felt more right Woke up lonely and for you There is nothing in this world I want Walk a thousand miles just to see you. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned briefly in the car yesterday, we were gonna come and wake up for sunrise, and we did. Uh, I definitely had some moaning and groaning when Chad was waking me up and turning yeah. the lamps on, but I'm so glad that I came out. And every single time I wake up early and just spend some time in nature, it's always 100% worth it. Yeah. And there's something so special about sunrises specifically because the beach is just a little bit quieter. There aren't um, as many people out during this time of day. And it is it feels, calm. It honestly feels like healing as yeah. well too like the the sand has had time to rest there are little like marks from the crabs overnight <laughs> right it's so nice shall we walk what are we walking towards towards the endless unknown adventure ahead of us wow yes <laughs> quite a daunting thing a lot, to walk towards a lot deeper than i expected <laughs> this to go <laughs> it's so beautiful yeah it is it's hard to not feel like we're the I don't know, main character. Main character of a movie. <laughs> yeah. This is dangerous. Aww. I can play all those tricks on you now. Well, after sitting on the beach this morning, we have worked up an appetite and we're gonna go and get some brunch. Brunch, 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 brunch. <laughs> the driver is pumped for brunch. Well, this morning Claire and I sat down, we're like, what do we wanna have for brunch? And we came across a place called Crackings, mm -hmm. which has like over five different types of Eggs Benedict, which is like Claire's favorite breakfast food. Oh yeah, if I could have Eggs Benedict every single week, I would. And it's also a family owned restaurant, so we decided to come and support the local businesses. And I am so excited. Yeah. Very cool menu. It's almost like they're mixing southern food with like food from Louisiana. Yeah. You know? This is so good. We got their cinnamon bun and it's topped with cream cheese icing. I think that's the best part, in my opinion. Oh. <laughs> All right, our breakfast spread this morning is the cinnamon bun. As we mentioned earlier, we also got their lobster grits. I believe it has Gouda cheese in it. Mm. it looks really good. And then we also have their crawfish egg touffee. I believe that's what it's called. Basically a crawfish eggs benedict. And we were told on their menu that their bacon is smoked over corn cobs. Yeah. Is that right? So I guess it gives it a unique flavor there. Yeah. Very special breakfast we have. Yes. <gasps> Ooh, fried green tomatoes. <clears throat> I must say, day two in Destin, we have upgraded our setup. We brought our beach chairs that came with our uh, accommodation, and they yeah. are so nice. 
This is incredible. I feel so relaxed. I feel like I'm in a lazy boy. <laughs> and I feel like a lazy boy. <laughs> So after brunch, we decide to wait out the sun and we've now come back. It's around 3.30 and we're just gonna be here all the way until sunset. Yep. I'm very excited, so pleased with our new setup. Oh, I think I might go for a swim though. Yeah. I've been waiting all day for it. There she goes. Goodbye. Today we have remembered to bring the little boogie board. So I'm hoping to catch a few waves, but we'll see very calm today which i don't really mind kind of like a giant swimming pool sup girl they're playing with the fish oh yeah you see them yeah there are a lot today So you have to say to yourself a little bit. Enjoying your vacation? Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, you know it's been a successful beach day when you are slightly tired, you can feel the sun on your skin, you're all salty, and you're pulling a wagon full of sandy beach supplies. It has just been a wonderful day and I can't imagine a better sunset to end it. We're walking back to the car, we're gonna go freshen up before heading out to dinner. Well, to end the day, we were on a quest for oysters. We stopped at two different restaurants, <laughs> and sadly, the kitchen closed at both of them at nine o'clock. Yeah, so. it was like the one thing I really, really wanted, but we stayed at the beach for far too long. Don't regret it, though. Um, so We ended up getting a pizza, yeah. which we're both <laughs> stuffed now. We're gonna sleep so well. Yeah, <laughs> Destin was honestly an absolute dream. It's one of those places where you really just can't go wrong. It's oh. iconic. Yeah, it's And if iconic. you've been to Destin, let us know what you're trip was like, <laughs> yeah. if you had a good time, if you got sunburned or not. <laughs> Join us as we continue to travel to 50 countries around the world as well as making stops like this yeah. along the way. Absolutely. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!